if you want to grow or if you want to have one year of prosperity then grow grains if you want to have 10 years of prosperity grow trees and if you want to have 100 years of prosperity then grow people good evening fellow roast masters and distinguished guests have you ever attended any networking networking event other than roast masters yes can i have a raise of hand yes do you want to know how you can maximize your time and effort so that you can make your presence worthwhile in that event of course yes so today i'm going to share five tips and tricks so that you can make your presence worthwhile so that you can be a, a great networker and for that i have created a small acronym for you to remember which is s m i l e smile in which s stands for stands so whenever you are in any networking event you are being noticed by everyone so the way you stand the way your body posture is it gives a feeling of sense to other person whether you are approachable or not so if you are standing confidently if you are making eye connections with others and if you are not putting your pocket in your if you are if you are not putting your hand in your pocket then it shows that you are confident while if you are talking to someone by locking your hand if you are carrying earphone holding if you are using headphone and if you are keeping your hand in your pocket then it shows that you are not approachable <coughs> it shows that you are not open to network so next time when you when you are attending any event make sure your body should posture should be straight now the second character is m which means mannerism so mannerism means how you treat behave or greet others like in those master whenever any guests come we greet our guests we ask them how they are feeling about the meeting and suppose if you are speaking to any event in which 50 to 100 persons are speaking so the way you greet your audience the way you acknowledge the presence of dignitaries shows the mannerism of your also being an audience whenever any speaker is speaking if you are paying attention it shows that you have good manner of being a good audience and remember guys please can i have your attention after 10 years after 20 years or even after 30 years people will hardly remember you but they will definitely definitely remember the way they have been treated by you <coughs> now the third character is i which means interested interested means zeal to learn something or it can be how you are curious about the topic so suppose you are going to some event in which uh, uh, you are very much interested in suppose mental is going to some event uh, about photography now in that event he will feel a sense of different energy altogether he carries with him and if you are not very much into cs about photography then you'll go if there are snacks you'll have snacks and then you'll not be greeted with anyone and you'll go out but people who are really very much interested about the topic they'll find some ways of approaching to the matter they'll find some different ways of learning about the topic they want to grow themselves and researchers have shown that if you are really interested about the topic which you are learning in then the chances are you'll learn more than 200% compared to if you're not interested about the topic also if you surround yourself by the people who are having same interest with yourself then the chances are that you can get to grow faster at a faster pace than if you are not surrounding by people which have common interest now the fourth character is l which stands for love learning listening listening so listening means how you are paying attention to the audience how you are paying attention to the speaker it will be vice versa oh it will be all together so suppose i am hosting an event and if i am speaking in any event 
and if there are audience who wants to ask some question and if i'm not listening to their question and i'm just saying what i have in my presentation or slides then it will give a bad impression about my listening skill at that time that i'm not very much paying attention to what my audience is asking question to me or suppose you you came to any event in which your mentor is speaking a very big guy is speaking and you get a chance for 5 seconds or 10 seconds after the event to talk to them then then you'll not only take selfie with them you'll you'll have a good amount of uh, time in that 5 to 10 seconds so that you can be in into their network so in that at that time if you are asking them like you were saying this what you meant about this it was this or that then they will definitely feel that you are genuinely interested as an audience about the topic and that would be a good chance for you that you can be into their network and finally e which stands for encouragement it means boosting or supporting other suppose i am giving my speech and you are giving your amount of time in of your life 7 minutes all each every one of you and you can you can notice what my strength is because i cannot notice because i because i am speaking and you can notice what are the key areas if i can improve uh, uh then if if i point out then i can improve very easily and if you are supporting me if you are giving me chance to 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 like put on my my strength then it means i will be encouraged at those masters we encourage our guests by helping them participating in table topics so with all these five acronyms s m i l e whenever you go to next event please smile over the those masters thank you very much Come on everyone, please have a big smile and give a huge round of applause.